We're going to change the PCV valve in this 1.8 liter Toyota engine, which happens to be installed in a uh, 2005 Pontiac Vibe. We're going to start by taking the engine cover off. Uh, use a uh, 10 millimeter deep well and take the two uh, bolts or acorn nuts off the top. And on the back here, there's uh, two push pins which lift out. You can see them. Yeah, lift those off. And then the engine cover lifts up gently. And just keep your acorn nuts in position and pull it off. The engine oil fill neck is located here. And to the rear of the engine is the PCV valve. Um, and you'll see this line comes off of the PCV back into the uh, intake manifold. It's important to check this valve as well as the line uh, because if the valve fails, oil can come back through this into your intake uh, causing uh, engine issues or codes. Uh, also this line, if it gets oil in it, can check creating a vacuum leak uh, which will also create codes. So it's important to check this assembly on a regular basis. The hose is held on the PCV valve and have a spring clamp here. You could probably squeeze it with your hand and slide the uh, clamp back. If not, maybe necessary to use a pair of pliers. There's also a foam uh, insulator on this hose. You may have to slide that back. Once you get the uh, clamp off, you should be able to gently rock the hose until it comes off. In this case, it looks like this has never been inspected, so we may have a bit of difficulty. You don't want to pry or twist on it excessively because if you crack this hose, Again, you can create an engine code um, with a vacuum leak. So you want to take your time and pull the hose off intact. Now we have to take the PCV valve out. A uh, 22 millimeter socket, uh, you can slide it over. A deep hole works best. Uh, in this case, I have a short. Uh, if you can and your socket's deep enough, you might be able to slide it back and then use the ratchet to at least get it out. If you're really in a pinch, a 7 8 socket will fit loosely and might allow you at least get it taken out and then uh, retorque it in. I've gotten the PCV valve out and looking at it, as far as I can tell, it's the original one with the vehicle. The vehicle has about 200,000 miles on it. And when I tested it, it passes air in both ways. It doesn't actually set the check valve. Here I have both check valves. Here's the old one. You can see how it's uh, gunked up inside. And when I shake it, nothing happens. The new one here slides freely. Now before I put the new one in, I'm going to take a uh, anti-seize compound and uh, treat the threads all the way around. Uh, the reason being the check valve is made out of iron and the head is made out of aluminum. If I just screwed this in, there's a chance it could corrode in place. Being a part that you want to service, uh, we'll treat it so that way we can uh, remove it down the road. Before I put the hose back on the crankcase valve, I wanted to inspect the other end as well for cracks. And when I took it out, uh, could see in here it's kind of hard but you can see how that hose narrows down in there that's the accumulation of gunk of oil and deposits that have actually trickled in this hose because the crankcase valve was stuck open and when you look into the actual intake itself here uh, you can continue to see that accumulation of uh, uh, gunk uh, might be hard to see but it goes down and it's actually oily inside the intake manifold so this needed to be replaced a long time ago and what will happen is that oil goes into the intake here it can cause a, a number of uh, error codes. Also, it can uh, work against the rubber gasket that is on the intake here, uh, causing it eventually the gasket to fail and create additional codes. So make sure you check and uh, replace your positive crankcase valve on a regular basis. Uh, prevents a number of uh, other issues with the engine itself.